Hello my friends, good morning. Welcome to Stephanie's Crafting Corner where every Thursday we get together live at 11 a.m. Pacific time and we make something. Now usually it's a card, I would say probably 99% of the time it's a card. Now if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you click the subscribe button. That way YouTube will tell you, oh hey, there's something new. Why don't you check it out? Uh, so those of you that are not subscribed on YouTube, please do so. Um, I'm gonna give a couple shout outs. Good morning, hi darling. Good morning. Hi, Allison. Hi, Amber. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Willow Witch. Oh, what a funny name. I like that. Um, hi, Allison. Hi, Janet. Um, hi, Jeannie. And it looks like I can see Diane's name too. And did I say Janet already? I don't know if I did. Um, but good morning. Um, I'm really excited to be here today. Today's project is actually something that I have had many, many requests for. So I'm definitely gonna make sure that we do that today. Um, good morning, Diane on Facebook. And let's see, I have Laura on Facebook and Marie on Facebook and Brenda on Facebook too. So good morning. Um, it's gonna be an exciting day. Uh, we have, well, let me tell you about the week so far. Um, yesterday, the babies came over and of course we just, Kenny and I just love those babies so much. It's so much fun to play with them and just have them around and um, I, I don't know if I told you guys this I think I did but I thought it was gonna be last night but it's actually next Wednesday that I'm going to the cooking class with the girls with Kirsten and Katie so I'm really excited about that that was my birthday present and I was, yeah that was my birthday present and so we're going to take a cooking class and the best part about the cooking class is you get to eat the meal afterwards so that's the best part because you know I'm all about the food um, uh, yeah totally all about the food that's all I care about I don't care about learning anything I just want to eat um, so that's how I am Nancy says it's in rain in Northern California. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Uh, Deborah said she's in North Carolina. She just received her card kit. Yay! I'm excited. Those are going to start hitting you guys now. Um, Kenny shipped them out the next business day after the 15th, so that was Monday. And those should be hitting your mailboxes or your porches very, very soon. Um, let's see. I, I can't really see some of the chats. Um, hi, Marilyn. Um, she says, is there a shelf life for the uh, adhesive sheets? Um, not that I know of. Um, I've, I've grabbed um, some that were a couple years old and I've still been able to use them. I haven't had an issue. I mean, I would just, just to make sure, I would always use um, the, first, the first ones that you got. Always grab, the, if you have new ones, put those in the back and always use the older ones first. But there shouldn't be a shelf life. Just make sure you peel them very slowly when you're peeling off the, the, um, the top sheet and you should be totally fine. Hi, Carol. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Hi, hi, Gloria. Hi, Janet. Hi, Libby. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sheila. Um, hi, Libby. Um, hi, Diane and Pammy and Carlon and Don. Good morning. Uh, oh, Jeffrey just received his car kit as well. Yay. You guys are going to have fun with that one. I really enjoyed putting that one together. And it was really fun. Just, you know, uh, oh, I just love it. Now, don't forget my card kit members. Next month is when it gets even better. Now, how many companies in this world ever tell you you're gonna get a higher value for the same price? Not very often. Sometimes like the cereal will say, oh, 20% more free, you know, but they don't do that forever, right? I mean, this is gonna be something that the value is going up $10 every month, but your price is staying the same. So I'm really excited about it. It's, it's something that uh, Dina and I have worked a lot on and it's just, it's, it's kind of like taking it to the next level with keeping the price the same, which is kind of, I know, I know. Don't tell Kenny because the, 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 our cost is going up, 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 but no, we're, we're making it work and I'm really excited about that. So starting November 15th, oh, also starting with that kit, we're gonna do something a little different starting with the November kit. The November kit club, that's the card kit club that comes in the box. We're gonna do the video a li little differently. We're gonna do the reveal video and that will be available to everyone. Now then the reveal video is gonna end and if you're a kit club member, your video is gonna be a little different. Your video is gonna be the reveal plus we go further and we make one or two cards and other, we when we talk more and we I do more stuff. So it's gonna be we haven't done it yet, but it's gonna be like a 
club member video only. Okay, so everyone will get to see how awesome the card kit club only will be able to see the video. So it's going to be like a members only video. Um, we just want to try to add more value to the to our club membership. And so that's going to be it. We're going to start doing that a little bit more often, like members only cut kind of things, just to make it even more special to be in the club. Now, don't forget, if some of you are like, oh, I just can't swing being in the club, you know, well, the club is only $11.95 a month. You could just be in the stamp club to get a lot of those benefits. Now, you wouldn't get the kit club benefit video, but you'd get a lot of the other club membership videos. So just a heads up on that. Um, Susan says that's awesome. Uh, Sharon says that's awesome. Um, Michelle says my craft room is getting crowded, though, because I have too many boxes. Well, you know, oh, she doesn't want to throw away the boxes. Michelle. I'm going to give you permission to throw away the boxes. It's okay. I know, I know. But you could also use them. You could reuse them and you could mail them to somebody. So you could put something else inside. So for example, if you wanted to mail somebody cookies, put your cookies in there and then mail it. So a lot of our design team members will send their shipments back to us, their cards, in their card kit boxes. So they're reusing them and recycling, which is also good, right? So that's very good. Um, Jeannie says, so we need to be signed in on your website to see the extra. Yes, because the website, not starting in November, November 15th, um, because the website needs to know you're a club member and then you'll be able to see those extra benefits, especially if you're a gold club member, because gold club members definitely want to always be signed in because then they're going to see, they get, they get to buy other things besides just what normal club members see. They get to buy the embellishments, they get heads up on some other things. So um, just always make sure you're always logged in. You never actually have to log out. The computer will remember you. So you can always just stay logged in as long as it's your computer. Now, if it's not your computer, let's say it's a library computer or your best friend's computer, then you don't want to stay logged in. But if it's your home computer or your iPad, you don't have to log out. So the computer can, our website can always know you're a club member, which is really handy. Um, Carol says, I save the boxes for a lot of different things. I totally get it. I know. I, and they, uh, they are so pretty, aren't they? They are very pretty. Um, I, I, I like them too. <laughs> so let's see. Um, Tracy said she's expecting hers today. Yay. Hi, Francis from Wichita, Kansas. Good morning. Um, hi, Carol. Liking the Kit Club has some extra perks. Yay for us that have the whole enchilada. Yes. Absolutely, Carol. The whole enchilada is getting a lot more for their bang for their buck, which is really fun. Um, Shirley says, Rain, love um, love the delivery people. Um, I love being a Gold Club member. Anne-Marie says, totally the best club ever. Oh, thank you, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Deb Stamper says, I use some of mine to paint on. Decorated. Oh, it went too fast. I didn't see it. But um, Gloria wants me to remind everybody, make sure you give us a thumbs up and a like. Um, and a share those shares really help us a lot and all it is is you just clicking a button it just um, because it tells YouTube and Facebook that you like us and that more people should see us which really helps us a lot we appreciate that um, let's see Melissa says she does the same thing Margaret hello from Ohio love this card kit thank you Margaret um, Y2K says I put all the goodies in the envelope that, com that it comes in and then throw the boxes away. Um, I label the envelopes and the monthly, with what monthly kit it is. Awesome, that's great. Speaking of labeling, I had Katie working in here last night and she started organizing me even better, which I'm really excited about. For example, she started, or she, I had her print off, actually, where did it go? I wanna show it to you. So I had her print off all of our fold -its. So here's all of our fold -its, and it's actually two pages. This shows you how much we all love our fold -its, right? Um, and I had her put all the fold -its on a list and she's going through and making sure that I have all of them. Cause you know how sometimes I'll say, oh, where is that one? Where is it, where is it, where is it? Well, sometimes, you know, in, in one of the ma massive mo many moves we've made in the last year or so, um, I, they get lost or they get put to the, they get sent to the office or something like that. So now I'll make sure that I have them. So when I want to show you one, I can do it. And she's labeling them. So my label maker is down there. It's my older one. She's um, labeling them all. So I'm getting them all labeled. And I'm really excited about that because, you know, being organized, you know, it just, oh, it's just so much more fun, right? Because then you don't spend all your time looking for something. So yes, so she's working on that. And bless her little heart, she had to write in some things and, this poor child, she's left-handed, and um, apparently no one taught her how to write. <laughs> <laughs> poor baby, well, that, 
That and the fact that that generation definitely does never, never uses a pen, right? They type everything. So she can type circles around me, but I bet you I could write better than her. But she's also left-handed, so she kind of gets a pass on that. But um, wow, <laughs> had never noticed that before. <laughs> um, let's see. Margaret says, if you were a winner in her little giveaway, please send me, send her your address so she can get out your free die. So she had a little contest or something. That's exciting. Um, let's see. See, Elver, Elvira says, in the car, just picked up my card kit. Yay! Shirley says, my kit was delivered. Oh, I lost it. But she got her kit. That's great. Woohoo! That's exciting. Um, so let me see if there was anything else I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, we saw the babies. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I don't know. So, um, hi Yvonne in Arizona. Um, again, oh, somebody says it gets um, peace of mind when she had, is all organized, which is true. That's totally true. It does. It just, it, you, I can walk in here and just go, oh, I know everything's going to be together. So it's very exciting. Um, let's see. Uh, Carol says, liking that the kit club has some perks. Yay for us that have the whole, oh, I think I already read that one. Um, yay. Tracy says she's expected to get hers today. Um, Cheryl says I did some fall cleaning and found some stamps. Yay. That's even more exciting, right? Michelle says being left-handed is cool. It is, Michelle. Do you want to know something funny? So my parents have four grandchildren and now they have the two babies, Miller and, and Liam, that are their great grandchildren. But out of their, because we don't know if they're left-handed or right-handed yet. They, they still kind of do both, the babies. But out of the four grandchildren, Kirsten, Katie, Ben, and Carter, only Kirsten is right-handed. These three are left-handed. Is that crazy or what? Now the cool thing is, is Carter can pitch both ways. So he's like a big deal in baseball, apparently, because he can pitch left-handed or right-handed and the, the coach will tell him, okay, do this guy this way, do this guy that way. Um, so isn't that amazing? I know, he's like, someday you're gonna know that name because he's gonna be like, Pretty awesome. And then, oh, and I didn't get to tell you about my, oh, so speaking of my nephews, um, we went to uh, Ben's football game last Friday night. It was the last game of the season, and we finally got to go to one, and it was really late at night. It was 8.30 at night. Now, I'll be honest. By 8.30 at night, I'm in my pajamas with my Kindle in my hand, usually, right? Or I'm in my pajamas working on the computer. I don't usually go anywhere at 8.30 at night, but Ben's, uh, Ben's uh, game was at 8.30, so Kenny and I had to leave about 7.45. We went to his game, and uh, can I just brag on that boy for a minute? Because his team scored, they won, they, but I don't think they technically take score, which I think they should, but whatever. Okay, so they had three touchdowns, Ben was the catcher on two of them in the end zone, or he caught it and then ran to the end zone to score the two touchdowns. The third touchdown, he was the quarterback and threw the ball. So he was involved in both, all three touchdowns. So hello, MVP, are you kidding me? That is amazing, I was so excited. I was so excited that we got to see it, Kenny and I got to see it, because it was just like, ah! I mean, it was just it was just amazing and what a great way to end the year so i was like oh my gosh so hello ben in football and carter in baseball you heard it here first just saying <laughs> um amidextrous is super talent yes michelle it is his coach loves him um cynthia says my youngest son is left-handed um but shoots a bow right-handed see awesome um shirley said her youngest could use both hands i know isn't it amazing it's amazing. I wonder if it has to do with like the video games or something because they have to be so good on the left hand also or something. I don't know. I don't know. But it's just so amazing that um, Jamie says love football. I do too. I love to watch football. I actually really do love to watch football. Now, baseball on the other hand, you could take a nap and not miss anything. Don't tell Carter I said that. Just saying. Okay. Um, Linda just got her card kit and the FedEx man gave her dog's a treat. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Um, do you know when the next kit, uh, 
the next tricolors will be coming in. Joe, um, I've sent multiple emails and I have not heard back yet. Um, I don't know. Last I heard, they got them in stock, but they were bundling them for us because we're going to have a bundle, probably the Sara bag for free again. Oh, I know, isn't that awesome? But um, I haven't gotten an actual date on them yet, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, so uh, Carol says, way to go. Love kids games. My kids uh, are grown. Miss all of that. Yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun. And I was very happy we went. Um, I think we got home like at 10 o'clock though, but um, that's a big late night for us. <laughs> we're not we're not the kind that like go out that late at night very often. Um, oh, Susan said she's missing something from her card kit. You can go ahead and email the office, Susan, and Phelan can take care of that for you. Sorry about that. Um, Yvonne says, born a lefty, but use my right hand mostly. That was the product of teachers in the 60s and 70s. Yes, that is true. That is totally true. Yeah, they always used to make you use your right hand no matter what, which is really sad, really sad. Um, Sharon says, did you all uh, read about the adhesive glue shortage? I did not. There is literally a shortage on everything. It's unbelievable, unbelievable, it's crazy. Um, any news on HSN? Jennifer, no, no. Um, I sent another proposal on Monday, no response, so I don't know. Marianne says, is Ken there today? I haven't heard him. Yes, I am here. <laughs> he has to input all the information and all the codes and all of that, so usually in the beginning he's a little bit more quiet. Um, uh, Pamela says there's more tri blends. Um, there's it's it's pack two of the brush tips that we're missing. So we have all of the um, the bullet tips, and we have one of the brush tips, but we're waiting for set two of the brush tips. So that's what they were asking about um, on the tri blends. So yes. Um, uh, Jeannie says she got her COVID bo bo booster yesterday. Good, yay. Um, Yes, and all the desks were when we were little were, de were designed for right-handed people. I know, remember, because they had that extra little thing here and you could put your hand there. Imagine being left-handed. It's so mean. It's so sad. It's so sad. Hi, Kathy. Um, I have a blessed day. Thank you. You too, my dear. You too. Debbie says, hi from Pico Rivera. Oh, that's not too far away. Had cataract surgery, surgery Tuesday, so watching is blurry. Oh, Debbie, rest your eyes. You could just listen. You could just listen. I won't do any dancing, so you can just listen. <laughs> Trust me, I don't dance. <laughs> um, uh, Teresa said, this is one of my favorite card kits. Yay, yay. Um, uh, Anne Marie says, I was told when going to buy a tote at um, Home Depot that there's a plastic shortage. Yes, there is, a, there is literally a shortage on everything. The biggest issue for us is the car, is paper, um, the card stock and paper. We're having um, the roughest time on that one right now. So far, everything else, I think we're pretty much, you know, we, we have a handle on, on our supplies, but it's the card stock and the paper we're having, well, and other manufacturer stuff. You know, we can't, you know, I think it's the, um, the Spellbinders large machine has been out of stock for a hundred years um, and no, no date in, in, in sight so yeah we don't know um oh also you guys just so you know kenny and i started videotaping for november yesterday and black friday week is gonna be amazing there is so much that we're releasing black friday week that i asked ken should i do two videos and he's like no just do one long awesome video um Probably that week also we'll do a live. Um, it won't be a reveal because obviously you will have already seen it, but I'll do some more demonstrating and showing off some of those new products. Um, they are going to be amazing. One of them is a bundle. And whenever you hear Stephanie say bundle, that means you're going to save more money. Okay. So that's just, that's just code for saving you more money. Okay. The bundle. Um, but this bundle is going to be, oh, actually, Okay, I don't know if that bundle is going to make it, but this, the bundle I'm thinking about is literally going to knock your socks off. It's one of those that once it's sold out, we're going to offer it just separately and it's going to cost you way more. So I highly recommend if you have club points, save those. If you have anniversary gift certificates, save those because you're going to want all of them. You're, you're, you're definitely going to want to really think about what we're doing for Black Friday. It's gonna be amazing. Now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna start Sunday before Thanksgiving, the Sunday night before Thanksgiving, and it will last the whole week. So um, we're not gonna release other products during that week. So 
you can just get everything at once and not have to worry. And then that way, hopefully you'll get to the free shipping, right? Because you don't want to have to pay for shipping. Now, just a heads up, the bundle one is amazing 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 just saying um jennifer says you need a 31 on your calendar actually jennifer it's the wrong dates um because we were taping yesterday for november we had to switch out november and i changed the dates for our november videos so the i put back the october and the items for october but i didn't change the dates back so the dates are incorrect completely the dates are for november you're right good eye you have a very good eye um because when we tape our, our, our videos for the next month, um, we always get a lot of people saying, you have the wrong calendar. So we try to remember to change it for the videos and then change it back for the live videos. <laughs> it's like, we're always juggling something. It's crazy, it's crazy. Um, is everything new for Black Friday week? Jeannie, there are at least five brand new items. I believe one or two of the other items that will be available that week are repeats from old hsn so i believe one maybe two of the smaller items are going to be because they're christmasy items and if i didn't get them out we would miss a whole year so um i think there's two items and it will say though as seen on hsn but it's going to be they're going to be smaller items are going to be at the bottom of the page um so don't worry i think at least five of the brand are brand new items um, brand new items. So, but if again, if it, it was on HSN, it will say on the little flag HSN. Um, but five brand new items. And I'm telling you, you guys, that bundle, <laughs> the reason why I asked Kenny if I should do a separate video for some of it is because the samples I got from the design team, literally for one of the items, literally was probably at least this high of the samples. Now, I always know I've hit a home run when my design team does more than they're supposed to because they have like assignments, right? They're supposed to do X, Y, Z, right? I don't even know what it is because Dina does that. But they have X, Y, Z that they're supposed to do for their assignment. When they do their, their assignment plus double, then I know it's good because they just can't stop. They're like, oh, I wanna make this. Oh, now I wanna make this. Oh, now I wanna make this. So I'm really excited, especially about that bundle. Just saying. Um, Mary Lynn says, when I make a mistake on a card and it opens to the right, I send it to my cousins, nieces and nephews that are left-handed. They think I made it especially for them. Oh, just our secret. Isn't that awesome? Isn't it awesome when you can turn a, what we would call a mistake into something awesome? Especially like my, my favorite, most important thing is like whenever I get ink on my hands and I actually accidentally touch the, my finished card. So then that's, oh. That, that ink spot there doesn't mean it's an ink spot. It just means it's, a, it's an opportunity to put more bling, right? Or an epoxy dot or something, right? It just means my card needed more embellishment. That's all. <laughs> and nobody knows, right? Hi, Ramona in Southern California. Hello, neighbor. Um, Vicky says we set our house up for left-handed people. Oh, that's nice of you. Um, let's see. Oh, there, Vicky says, oh wait, no. Olivia says, how come you don't offer more than five items for Black Friday week? Olivia, it is more than five. Um, I believe it's five brand new. I don't quote me on that because um, I don't have my list here and it hasn't been solidified yet, but I believe it's at least five brand new items. And I think two of the other items, um, because there's a 20, because Black Friday week this year kind of, confuses our um, our whole release schedule because it is like it's right next to the 20th and then the 25th is in there and then it's black friday week so we took i think two of the items are um from hsn but at least five brand new items at least i i'm thinking there could be more but at least um uh robin says is the bundle going to be christmas related the bundle itself the one bundle i'm thinking of because remember there's at least five items the bundle is not holiday related it's an everyday item that you're going to use um let's see um sarah says sorry to be late doctor's appointment this morning oh that's okay you can always watch it again <laughs> and again and again um oh stamping kitty wants to know has ken gotten his cam his ken cam kit uh ken cam yet no <laughs> is not Proof functioning he yet not functioning he has not uh let's see um stephanie don't forget your pink workstation yes you know what it's right here gloria i will grab it now just so we don't have to think about it right there it is boom and it's still full of some stuff oh scrap paper see it's funny because sometimes i don't empty it out right away so i think i've been talking a lot um 
Uh, let's see. Uh, love the little stockings in the kit. They are adorable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Elaine. Good morning. Um, let's see. Uh, good morning from Cerritos. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Karen. Um, yay for Black Friday week. Yes, I know. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be very exciting. Okay. I should jump in and make something, right? <laughs> That is the whole the whole reason behind all of this, right? But you know, it's more fun to catch up and check in and everything like that. Um, let's see. Um, we are going to do something today, and I think I mentioned this in the very beginning. We're going to do something today that uh, we've had lots of requests for. We had lots of requests for it last Thursday. We had uh, actually um, Faylene had some requests from it in um, the emails, and that is, are you ready? Dun dun dun, dun our stencil paste. So we did a class on this and uh, we did a class on this. I don't remember even which one because, you know, we do a lot of classes. I, oh, by the way, the plant class is limited, avail uh, limited availability now. We're down to the final few. I don't know how many, um, but Dina sent me an email saying uh, almost sold out. So be warned on that. I just gave you my warning. Um, but the stencil paste is really fun. We did a class. We, we, on one of the classes that we did, I think it was this, yeah, it was this year, um, we used this stencil paste, and uh, so it was really fun. And then, but lately we've had a lot of people asking, you know, what do we do with the stencil paste? So I will definitely let you know. Pamela says, I texted HSN a couple times to ask when you're going to be on next. Well, thank you, my love. Thank you. Hi, from Kristen in Colorado. Hello, Kristen. Hello. Hi, Ramona. Circus class, thank you. See, you guys have better memories than I do. I literally... Couldn't even tell you. Oh, no, I do. I can tell you what I had for dinner last night. Pizza. <laughs> but um, yeah, sometimes I can't read circus. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, stencil paste. The thing about the stencil paste is when I do a video on them, I always have to think ahead because I have to make the final product because otherwise I won't have an actual item to um, use to finish a card because it takes a while to dry. What I like to do, and I I'm sure it has on the directions, uh, allow to dry. It doesn't say how long. I highly recommend you do this at night and let it dry overnight just to make sure it's fully dry because you don't want to touch it and have it be messed up. Another thing you can do is do a whole bunch of items and then let them all dry. So just a thought. Um, Vicki says, I love your stencil paste. And I was in that circus class, had fun learning great tips. Yes, there were a lot of great tips in there. So I'm going to give you the basics though of this, of this stencil paste. So what you're going to do, and I think, oh, here, here, I won't show you the finished product yet because that would be kind of cheating, right? So what you're going to do, there we go, is you're just going to take some scrap paper and this is my scrap paper because you can tell it has a hole in it. And you are going to get your cardstock that you want to um, stencil on. Now, if it's going to be a die cut piece, you definitely want to die cut first. Okay? You don't want to stencil a whole sheet and then go die cut it. Why? Because your die cut machine will just ruin that fun texture paste. It will just ruin it and it'll mush it and it'll be horrible. So die cut whatever you're going to do first. Okay, that's the biggest tip. The second tip is to make sure you have the stencil that you're going to use. And I need to find that stencil because I did use it. And where did Stephanie put it? That is going to be the fun part because last time I saw it, it was in the bathroom when I used it. But let me see. Maybe I have another one. I bet you I have another one. So let's look, uh, and I want to use the same one just because it would make more sense. Oh, well, there's the envelope that it came in. We're going to use the five petal stencil, um, but let's see if I have another one. Dun, 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 dun. Let me, see. oh, there it is. It's nice to have two sometimes. Okay. Oh, and this is the Katie bag. I know people are going to ask. This is the Katie bag that holds all my stencils. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll open this one. It's a bummer. I can't find that other one, but oh well. So we're gonna open this, oh, where is it open? There we go, oh, oh, come on. So what I like to do is I always like to um, make the, put the card in the envelope. So um, I don't like, one thing I don't like to do is I don't like to keep the stencils by themselves in the Katie bag because I, when you put things, when you put new stencils in, they might get caught in each other. So I always keep them in their envelopes when they're not lost and ran away. I think it's over there um, because 
uh, that way it keeps it protected. Now, if for some reason you threw away any of these, or maybe you got a stencil that you don't have from, that didn't have one of these from us, because I think in the beginning we didn't have any, what you can do is take a piece of cardstock and decorate one, decorate a piece of paper, a cardstock, decorate it, so decorate it, and then that can be your backing card, so you'll know what it looks like, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cardstock right there, and you don't want to put any washi tape on your cardstock because it'll just, um, it'll stick to it. So I'm gonna lay my stencil down, and as you can see there, here we have our stencil, and I'm laying it down. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to tape it. Now I know a lot of you have asked about, hang on, let me move it up a little bit. I know a lot of you have asked about washi tape from us, and I am working on designing some new designs, and actually, that's gonna be one of our questions for today for the raffle. What kind of design in washi tape would you like to see? So for example, I'm not gonna do dots. I'm not gonna do stripes. I want something unique to the Stamps of Life that you cannot get anywhere else. So for today's wrap, for today's contest, I want you to tell me what kind of washi tape would you like to see from the Stamps of Life? Okay, so throw out your answers. I wanna see them. We're gonna keep track, we're gonna watch them, and Kenny is gonna pick a winner to win a $25 gift certificate to our website. So you can say anything you want. Elizabeth said butterflies, Annette said flowers. Great, keep them coming. I wanna see them all. I wanna see them all. I wanna see them all. You be the tortoise, Gloria said. Cross, flowers, gnomes, birthday washi tape, please, Melissa said. So throw out all those ideas. We're gonna write them all down. Okay, so I'm opening my jar. Always keep it covered, right? Always keep it covered. You don't ever wanna just let it dry out, right? And oh my gosh, I made Play-Doh for the babies yesterday. No, two days ago. And the recipe I used had too much water in it. It's a sticky mess. I have added at least another cup of, of flour to it and it's still a sticky mess, it's disgusting. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to get, you know when you go to the, um, uh, when you go out to eat or they um, you order something to, not when you go out to eat, when you order something to go and they give you the fork, the knife and the spoon in the little package with the salt and pepper and then the little uh, napkin, save those knives okay because you're going to use them now so this one is a little used and abused but i've used it a lot now yes you can buy the fancy spatulas yes we even have them we have hang on let me show you if it's right here oh here we even have little scrapers on our website you can buy you don't have to just use a plastic knife okay come on let's let's save a buck right so i'm just kind of getting the extra off here because it's a little dirty so what you're going to do is I kind of like to stir it a little tiny bit. You don't have to stir the whole jar, but I like to stir just like a little bit on the side. And as long as you don't color this, you don't have to worry about, um, about contaminating. So I'm just gonna do white. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of liberally put a whole bunch on here. Now, whatever you don't use, that's okay because you can put it back in the jar right so you're not wasting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of smooth it out now don't worry about getting it flat right now just get it on the petals just like that get it on the petals on the petals and we're going to add more and you know get as much as you want because it really doesn't matter and we're going to add all of this cookie go see daddy go see daddy daddy pick you up and we're going to add all of this go see daddy we're gonna add all this. Cookie's wandering around the room looking around. We're a little nervous she's gonna go potty. Okay, and we're adding all this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, you don't have to go off this stencil, right? You just stay on the stencil. St stay on the stencil area. But see how I, I'm, I'm putting more than you would think, right? Because you're like, oh, whoa, that's a lot. But now that I've gotten it all covered, right? Now that I've got it all covered, and I'm checking to make sure I got all those little crevices. Now I'm gonna get all the extra off, right? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scrape. Use the flat, don't use the serrated edge. Don't use that edge, use the flat edge. Now you could use an old gift card. You could use, uh, you use whatever you want. I, you can use whatever you want, but you just want to be able to scrape it just like that. Now I'm gonna look and I see a little air bubble. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more back there because I don't want any air bubbles. And then, but see, did you see how I put some back in there already? And I'm going to scrape. Then I'm going to put it back. So look, you're, you're not going to like go through this as fast as you think, because look, I'm scraping it and I'm putting it all, most of it back. Most of it is going right back in the jar. It's like glitter. You know, you always want to make sure you put it back because you want to save it. Now I'm going over it and I'm like, okay, that's looking good, looking good. You want it to be a nice straight edge because you don't want it to dig into any of those little holes, right? And I'm checking, looks good, looks good. Make sure I get all my extra stencil paste. I don't want to waste any of it, right? Okay, that's it. Okay, looking good. Now, um, if any of you have questions, I'll answer them in just a second because I want to get this up. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to put my lid on because I don't want it to dry out. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently lift this up. And when I say gently, I mean it. So first take off your washi and you could leave it on your stencil, but the washi on the stencil, that part doesn't matter. But you're gonna peel that up, take this side, peel this side up, cause you don't want, you want it to go straight up when you lift it up. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna lift this up. Okay, ready, ready. And then you're gonna lift it stru uh, straight oh, up. Look at that, ah! Now, you're gonna go wash this. Now, I'm not gonna go wash it because we're on camera, but I'm gonna have that washed right away. Now, look at how gorgeous. Now, what I recommend is you don't touch it. Do not touch it. Do not touch it. Let it dry. I like to leave it exactly where it is because I feel like when it has, see how it has these little petals that go over the edge? Let me zoom in on that. See how it has those little ped petals that go over the edge? I feel like that kind of holds it down while it dries because sometimes you might have done stencil paste and your paper when it dries, it curls. Well, that might be because you took it off the paper. So make sure you just let it dry just like this because I feel like that almost acts like a little tiny fake glue to keep it flat when it's drying. Okay, so I'm gonna move that off to the side. I recommend letting it dry overnight or you could get like a heat tool to, to dry it faster if you want to. And then here is my finished product. So see, magic of TV, because now it's finished. And look at how fun that is. Let me zoom in on it so you can really see. Look at the text, look at look at the, you, can you see, kind of see how it's, it's a lot higher? And it has that fun texture. And look, it dried really, really flat because I literally left it right in its place as it was drying. So as it was drying, I really left it flat. Now, I f totally forgot we were doing a contest. Okay, so Kenny, did you pick a winner? Yes, our winner is from YouTube. Okay. It is Sandy Matulis, and she said balloons. Balloons, fantastic. So thank you, Sandy. You are gonna email the uh, office at info at the stampsoflife.com, and you just won a $25 gift certificate to the website, yay! So keep those ideas coming in. Um, because later I'm going to go through them and, and actually probably Katie will go through them and, and do like a little tally of like who voted for what so we can get an idea of what was asked for the most. So um, if you saw a lot of people asking for something specific, then chances are maybe it'll happen. Because my plan is to do a six pack of washi tape. So I already picked one that I want to do for sure. So that's why we're gonna we're we're going to you guys. We we always we always don't want you guys to know that we always we we do our best to always listen to our customers. So now's your chance. So throw it in there. Even if you're not gonna be able to enter that contest, throw it in there. Um, and yay! Okay, so here we go. Here is our finished product. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? I love the the just the look of it, and I especially love that flower stencil. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to finish our card and I pulled out, um, because I know it's available on the website, the shine collection. It's available on our website and it's my favorite colors. So what are you going to do? Right? So this one has candy, guava, kiwi, green apple, banana, lemonade, ocean, and sea glass, two pinks, two yellows, two greens, and two blues, all my faves. Okay. So what we're going to do is I am going to just take my, Oh, and did you notice my friends? rounded rectangles round it those might even still be on flash on accident i forgot to turn them off whoops okay so what's the date today yes i need to turn those off but if they're available still on flash so uh, the rounded rectangle what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a piece of cardstock and i am going to here let's use this to make myself feel better right gloria okay so oh there's my rounded rectangle okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to die cut this 
and I need a different cutting pad. So I'm going to run this over here. Um, get this over here. And whoops, there we go. And no speed bumps, right, you guys? No speed bumps. And we're going to add this. So if you have any questions about the stencil paste, um, let me know. I'm going to try to catch your um, questions. And I'm going to run this through. Uh, let's see. Uh, lots of ideas. Uh, Gloria said smile to Stephanie. Uh, oh, Gloria, uh, uh, Georgia said her, her internet is freezing, so she went to YouTube. Huh. Okay, so here we go. Here's our card base. Easy peasy, right? You know, most important die you'll ever have is the one that makes that card base. We're going to use our bone folder. Now, the bone folder, just so you know, the bone folder does come with the scraper if you want to get the scraper, just so you know. Okay, and now I have my card base. I'm going to add this to my card and I'm looking at this going okay that's great but I want to do one more thing I want to get a layering die and I usually have Katie's been organizing me so I don't know if I have one there oh here's one so I am going to oh that's not one I am going to find one that has straight edges and I am going to add another color back here I think I'm going to add the, ooh, the yellow now this yellow from the shine pad has a slight slight stripe so I really want to make sure that I put this straight into the machine and I'm going to grab this and grab that and I'm going to lay this down on here straight because I don't want those stripes to be crooked because that would be really awkward right so we're just going to add that there and add, and I reuse my washi tape let me tell you um, I reuse it over and over again. So if you did that stencil paste, obviously I don't think you did it with me right this second, but you always want to make sure you wash your hands and wash your stencil right after. Um, you can just use uh, water and just like a, a paper towel. That's all I do. There's nothing fancy you need to do to it. Um, just wash it out like that. That's fine. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to run this through. Whoops. And just like that. And now I have my yellow rectangle. So what I want to do with this is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this right behind it. And then I'm going to add this. Look at that. Look at the difference in that. So here we have the, let's do it without. So you can see there, right? But if I add this behind it, look, it just makes it even pop even more. I love that. So let's go ahead and add the adhesive to the back of this. Whoops. Find our adhesive. There we go. And we're just gonna add adhesive to this. Add this to our card. Francine wants to know if you can add um, ink refill colors to the paste. You can, absolutely. That's actually something we did in the class. You can, you can color the stencil paste. The only um, thing that you wanted, the only thing that's different about that is you have to make the color off to the side, like on a piece of plastic or at a little palette or something, and then you cannot really reuse it. So when you make a color, what you're going to want to do is have a whole bunch of things that you can stencil ready to go so you can use all of that texture paste. So you're going to do one and then you're going to have a lot left over. So hurry up and do another one. You're going to have some left over. Do another one as fast as you can. Um, the reason why you want to do it fast is because that texture paste will start to dry. So you want to do it as fast as you can, as many times as you can. Have everything ready to go. And yes, you can color and it does come out beautiful. We did that in um, the circus class. Okay, so I'm going to add my adhesive to this one, but a good question. And I'm looking at my pretty flowers. I love them. I love them. And we're going to add that little guy right there. And I didn't think any further than that. <laughs> so now we're playing. Now we're now we're going by the seat of our pants. Um, let's see what else we have here. Um, oh, you know what? Hello, dragonflies. Wouldn't dragonflies be perfect on this? So look, dragonflies to stamp. Oh, I love being organized. And and people often ask me this a lot, actually. How much can you fit in the storage envelope? So this is a Stamps of Life storage envelope. It's the small, and I have one stamp set. I have the kit stamp set. Actually, hang on, let me do this on the overhead so you can see what I have here in this envelope. And then I have, look, I'm gonna just take everything out so you can see. Okay, look, now I need to have a magnet because I could store more in here if I had these all on a magnet, right? But I have, uh, more than two die sets in here. So I have one, two, plus all my extra die. So I always have extra dies because, oh, actually I have three extra die sets. So I have lots of extra dies in here. Look at all the extra dies I had in here. So I had two stamp sets plus the kit stamp set. So I keep all of them together. I also keep 
any ones that I have not die cut yet, I keep those in the envelope as well because that way I don't have to go look for them. So right now I'm gonna use one or two of these, but I have all of the dies here. I have stamps, so I have two stamp sets plus half. Then I have one, two, three, probably four or five, at least five technically die sets in here. And I could store more if I had them all on magnets or cards. And then I have some of the cutout pieces. So a lot is gonna fit in here, which is so nice, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push all this off to the side so it's not in the camera. And we're gonna go back to our um, back to our card. And so I'm gonna lay out the dies. Sometimes I like to do this because I like to lay out the dies just to see, okay, what do I want it to look like? Um, to know like what I want to design. So I'm like looking at this, I kind of have, that's a cute, oh, that'd be cute. Maybe go like that. Um, let's see, or maybe add this one. Oh, I like this one better. So before I die cut, I can kind of decide, do I want to do this or what do I want it to look like? I have these little guy, this little guy here. So I could go like this and then like this if I wanted to. Let's see what else I have. Or I have another dragonfly that I could do this one. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Do I have one that I can die cut out of that one? I do not. Okay, so, but look, see, I can kind of lay it out before I decide what I want to do. So I'm going to do these two. Actually, I'm going to go like this. Let's see, see? And then you can kind of play with it and decide what do I want to do, what do I want to do. I think I'm going to do it like that. That looks really cute. So I'm actually going to use the shadow dies for these. So I'm going to find the shadow dies. So here I have the shadow die for this one. How cool is it that this matches that? I didn't even plan that. That's pretty amazing. And I am going to get my handy dandy washi because um, that way I don't have to worry about it. And Carol I wants to know what other ways you can use the washi besides holding down dies. Great you question. You can use it to decorate. So the washi that I'm planning on designing is going to be more of a decorative washi, not a utility utilitarian washi meaning i'm just using this washi because it's extra and it's like not my favorite it's you know it's mine but it's not my favorite um so i'm using it to hold down stuff but you're going to use washi to decorate so instead of using ribbon you could use washi and maybe i'll try to remember to use some washi on this one so you can see okay um because that's a very good question and um we don't usually use washi in our everyday life isn't that true oh i did find one of these yay hang on i'm changing this up but we don't you we I feel, I feel like personally, I don't tend to use washi that often. And so when people were saying a lot, hey, we need washi, we need washi, I'm like, you're right, we do. So I, that's why I wanna design some really fun stuff. Okay, so, and maybe even these dragonflies would be cute in the washi, wouldn't they? Okay, so I'm gonna add this one and I'm just lining that up, but very good question. And I'm gonna try to use some washi on this card. So now I have, oh, let me show you again. So my plan is to do this, okay? Uh, well, hang on. Maybe let's try it this way. Now we get to go back and forth. Um, no, I kind of like it that way. Okay, so we're going to turn that one a little bit in ink because I want them to look like they're flying. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I have those two here that I'm going to die cut. I like using laying my dies out like that so I can kind of get an idea of, oh, what would it look like if I did this? What would it look like if I did that? And then I kind of have a game plan, right? So I'm going to run this through. And now I have my cute little, see how handy it was that I had those cut, these cut, um, die cut papers in with the stamps and dies because that way I don't have to go search for them. Um, it just, it, to me, it just makes it so much easier. Um, so I can add that. Now remember our dies also come with the regular die itself. So I could have die cut this with no white shadow. That's up to you. Um, that's some people like the white shadow. Some people don't like the white shadow. So that's a personal preference. Okay. So now we have that and I am going to add a little bit of foam, adhesive foam because adhesive foam is so much fun. And I'm just using the leftovers from my shakers that I've used, that I've made. Right. And I'm just going to peel this up. And luckily we have a lot of this in stock, so I don't have to worry about the adhesive shortage on these. <gasps> and I'm gonna add this one right there. And then I'm gonna peel this one up. The nice thing about using your scraps on these, one is you're saving because you're saving money. You don't have to um, go buy squares or dots or whatever. And two, doesn't matter what shape it is. Look at that funny shape. No one's gonna see it, right? Who cares? No one's gonna see it. Okay, so I'm gonna add that one right there. That's cute. And then I feel like I need something here and here. So let's see what we're gonna do. Oh, I have an idea. Uh, I hope this one's out already. Um, birthday strips to stamp. Kenny, is that one out yet? Yeah. 
Oh, fantastic. Already. Okay, because I am going to, you guys have no idea. I have no knowledge of what is out and what is not out because I have it all. Okay, so this is my reverse corner slimline set, right? And remember it has those strip dies. Woo! And we're gonna use some of those. So I'm just going to die cut this prob, ooh, let's see. I'm gonna bring back, let's look at all of it. So I'm gonna look at what color my strip should be. I'm gonna look at all my colors. I have a lot of yellow represented, so I'm okay. Um, I don't have much purple represented, and I don't have any of this green represented. So I'm gonna go with that pixie just to tie it all in together. I really feel like that's gonna um, kind of tie it all in together. And just for fun, I'm going to grab, um, because I have a lot of pattern paper, so I'm going to find Dun, 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 dun. You know what? We need to do another raffle before we're done here. Hang on. I'm going to bear with me here. Oh, here's some pixie. And so I'm going to find some pixie in my pattern paper because I need to start using. Now, remember, if you have a lot of pattern paper left over, because I always have a lot um, left over, don't forget there's a lot of solids. So instead of me grabbing, watch this. Instead of me grabbing a whole brand new beautiful sheet of cardstock, I'm going to use this, right? I'm going to use this. Now, or I could use all my scraps. Make sure, my, my friends, make sure with this darn paper shortage, I can't believe I'm even saying this, paper shortage, make sure you're using your scraps. I literally, I didn't used to use my scraps as crazy as I do now. I am serious about using my scraps. Serious. Because... I'm not using my big paper because that I got to save for the big cards, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut these fun strips. And those of you that have these strips, I know you're already loving them. Also, just a heads up, um, in November, we're coming out with, I think, two stamp sets that coordinate with these strips. Just a heads up. And more strip dies are coming because we all love them. So I'm adding these. And now I have all of these extra pieces. Look at all of these extra. Oh, hang on. I gotta get them off my parent. So now look, I have all of these options. Now, what am I gonna do with all the extras? You know what I'm gonna do with the extras? Any that I don't use, look, I have a whole bunch in my envelope right here. I'm gonna put them in the back here so I can use them another time. Um, so here we have, oh, and did you notice that also? I'm storing my strip stamps in here as well. So this one is the birthday one that I already have out. And so you can put at least two or three in, or probably four in here at least. So you can have them all together, which is very handy. And that's in the larger envelope that goes in the Kirsten. Okay, so now I have all of these cute little strips. I think, let's see, I'm gonna lay these out. Lay these out. I think I'm gonna do something that looks like this. Pamela wants to know how you clean your stencil. Get the paste off. Uh, I use just water and um not even warm water doesn't even have to be warm i just use water and a paper towel and just gently rub on it because you don't want to like really rub it because then some of the stencil pieces might um this one not necessarily but some of the fancier ones might um pull back a little so just gently scrub it yeah easy peasy don't don't spend too much time on it but make sure you do clean off the stencil paste okay good question so I'm gonna do the larger one down here and the smaller one up here. And I'm going to say, oh, let's do a question. Anne-Marie sent us our bucket. Anne-Marie, okay, if you're watching, I still have not cut all the extra ones. I'm just using the ones you cut so far. Um, oh, this is a good question. And we'll go, we're gonna be taking notes on this one. This is to enter to win a $25 gift certificate to our website. If you're brand new to stamping, this is the perfect question for you. If you've been a stamper for 100 years, this is the perfect question for you. And if you've never joined a contest before, there is no wrong answer. So I want everyone watching to answer this in the chat. You just type in your question, you type in your answer and hit enter. That's all you have to do. Ready? The question is, what would you like to learn about stamping that you don't quite understand? Great question, maybe a future uh, thing like we did on today because people were asking about the stencils. What would you like to learn about stamping that you don't quite understand? So I want you to answer that while I'm working on this. What do you want to know about stamping that you don't understand? Or you just want to learn more about, right? Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of my long um, blocks and let's see. We could do happy birthday, party time, it's your birthday, 
Today's your, it's your special day. I don't think that one's gonna fit, cause I don't, let's see. It's your, no, nope, not gonna fit. Okay, so let's do, oh, I'm gonna do happy birthday and let's eat cake. Kenny went to, um, Kenny went to Costco and brought home the cinnamon rolls. And let me tell you, I cannot eat those things fast enough. I love those things so much. Okay, so let's do happy birthday and let's eat cake. So I'm just adding that on there. I am going to grab, let's just do black just to make sure that it all coordinates together. Uh, where's my, oh, here it is. Okay, so here's my licorice. Oh, this is probably a horrible shot, sorry. Dirty, dirty. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ink this up. Well, let's do one at a time because I'm gonna ink this one up. This one says, let's eat cake. And that's going to be on the smaller one right there. Come on. There we go. Let's eat cake. I'm all about the cake. Okay. And then we are going to do happy birthday. And we're going to ink this one up. And whoops. And we're going to add this one. Let's see. Right here. Because I'm going to trim this down a little. Happy birthday. So now we have that and you guys are answer, asking, answering the question, what would you like to learn that you would like to know more information about? And I'm glad we added the word stamping because, you know, if somebody would have said, I want to learn more about life. Yeah, I can't help you on that. I'm still learning. <laughs> okay. So now, now all my extra um, strips, remember my friends, I'm going to put them in the envelope so I can use them in the future. Where are my other guys here? They are. And there we go. And so now, just see a heads up also on this. I, I mentioned more strip dies are coming and they're still in production. So, I mean, not even production, they're in sample stage. So, but eventually we will. So eventually what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have your own envelope for just the strip dies. So technically right now they're in with the reverse um, corner um, slim lines, but eventually you're gonna wanna break these up because there's gonna be more strip dies, just a heads up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these and everybody's ants putting in their answer. Do we need more time, Ken? No, I don't think so. I can find a winner. Okay, so he's gonna find a winner now. And I'm, let's see, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Okay, so Kenny, who is our winner? Give me a minute here. Okay, so, again. so let's see, I'm gonna add this right there. And I am actually gonna trim two spots on this because I want it to be a little tighter here. So I'm gonna do that right there. Okay, we got a winner. Okay, who is it? It's M. J. Bear, and she said masking. I masking. assume it's she. Yeah. Awesome! I love that. And well, I'm sorry, what was the name again? I already forgot. M. J. Bear. M. J. Bear, you just won a twenty-five dollar gift certificate to the website. You're going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life dot com, and she is going to get you a twenty-five dollar gift certificate to the website. And if I were you, I'd save it for Black Friday, but you can use it anytime. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm adding, notice, here's something fun. Notice I went over the yellow. I didn't go over all of them and I didn't start at the pink. I just went over the yellow. Why? Just for fun. Okay, happy birthday. Oh, make it straight. Make you straight. There we go. Now, remember I said I was gonna use washi tape. Oh my gosh, is this cute or what? I said I was gonna use washi, so I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna grab some of my washi. Um, some of my washi is actually, being um, used as a sample to show how I wanted it packed in the future. Um, let's see, uh, what colors do we have here? Um, we, uh, we could do the yellow. We could do the yellow. Let's do the yellow. Or we could do the pink. Uh, let's see yellow. Okay, so for the inside, just to decorate the inside because this is a good example of what to do with it. It's literally just a decorative tape. Um, it's it's more like a painter's tape where it's not gonna it's not going to um, like like stick for the rest of your life, right? Painter's tape. We actually have some painter's tape on the sidewalk outside for something, and it's already kind of starting to lift off a little. It's not a permanent tape. It's not going to stay there until kingdom come kind of thing. But it's fun. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to add. Oh, and here there's an icky right there. So this is perfect. I, I don't think you can see that icky. Look at the icky. I don't even know what it is. But see that little weird icky right there? Oh, I can't. You probably can't see it very well on camera. But I'm going to cover that icky up. Watch this. And I am just going to add a piece of. And it's it's fun because it just changes everything, right? It just adds something a little bit more. And. You can wrap it around. Oh, I got another icky on there. That's going to bug me. Oh, hang on. See, it's got icky in there. There, get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Okay. 
So now I'm adding that right there. Now to trim it, I always like to, um, you can tear it, you can fold it over, but I want it to be nice and clean. So I'm just gonna trim it like that. And then birthday. So we're gonna add this really quick, really quick, really quick. Uh, let's do some. And there we go. Okay, and we'll just do it in black. Dun 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 dun. -na. I'm gonna add that right there. Now our class again is almost sold out, so we're down to our limited quantities now. Oh, a little icky. That's okay. That's okay. So I got a little icky on there, but you know what? There's always a reason when you get ickies because that means you get to add something. An opportunity to embellish, and so I'm just going to grab. Um, ooh, what's that? Oh, no. Um, dun, 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 almost done, almost done. Oh, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? We could use that one. Okay, let's use that one. So I'm just going to add a cute little rhinestone right where I got the icky. Right there. Look at that. So much better. Oh, last but not least. Sorry, last but not least. We got to add our... Created by, what's this one say? I have I have two on each one, so let's see. Oh, this one says One of a Kind by Stephanie Bernard. Wow, going full name on that one. There we go, One of a Kind by Stephanie Bernard, and boom, we're done. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? Look how cute that is. So we have Let's Eat Cake, Happy Birthday. We're gonna open it up. Wishing you a lovely day. I got my little washi tape on the bottom. Look how fun that is. Look, something so silly and so simple, but look how much different it changes to the whole card. And then on the back, I got my created by Stephanie Bernard. One of a kind by Stephanie Bernard. Isn't that awesome? Personally, stamps, of course, we have on our website. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me jump into the chat really quick. Should we stamp first or die first? Good question, Pam. I think that's one of your questions that you were going to ask. Um, I like to stamp first and then die cut. I can actually 90% of the time tell if somebody has die cut first and then stamped. You can get, it's easier, it's easier to line up the die and put washi on it than it is to die cut and then try to stamp on it perfect. So it's much easier to stamp first than die cut. Um, ooh, love the card, love the card. Thank you, thank you. Coloring the stamps, blending. I am loving all of your ideas, you guys. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Katie um, watch all the chats and get, go through all the chats and like kind of tally it so we can get some great ideas, which is a great question, Anne-Marie, because it's a, a great way for us to know what to work on in the future. So I'm excited about that. Um, can we order just the strip die? Sharon wants to know. Not on these. On this one, it came with um, this kit. It came with the reverse slim, uh, I'm sorry, the reverse corner slim line. The future strip dies are going to be a little different. Um, in fact, they're going to coordinate really well with these. And uh, those will be sold separately. Yes. But these were just one of those fill ins that I threw in there at the last minute. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. So that's why I did that. So, my friends, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me for um, this, this new card. Um, I had a great time. We added some extra washi and some fun stuff in there. I got a lot of great ideas from all of you. So um, stay tuned. You might see one of your great ideas coming up soon. Um, but I just want to say thank you. Um, we had our little babies over there, over here yesterday. And I, I just, I'm reminded every single day when I look at them that no matter what, no matter what we're going through in our lives, no matter all the garbage and icky stuff and everything it's all about jesus's love and um when i look at those babies faces i just i i'm just reminded and so it's awesome find your happy place find where you find go where you find peace and it's just amazing isn't it so thank you all so much have a great day i will see you monday for a no makeup monday at 10 a.m same time same place right here and again don't forget to share like subscribe give us a heart to do all of that kind of stuff because it really helps us with facebook and and instagram and youtube and all that kind of stuff so thank you all so much have a great weekend and i'll see you soon bye bye